Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can import a PDF into Excel using Power Query. So in this example, I'm gonna download the holdings from the ARC Innovation ETF. So there's an option to download CSV. There's also an option to download in PDF format. So I've already saved this, this PDF on my, on my computer and this is what it looks like. So you've got the companies, the tickers, uh, the shares, the value, the weight, and all neatly formatted in a table. I can't just copy and paste this as it is into Excel, but I can import it using Power Query. So what I'm gonna show you is how we go about doing that. So if I go to the data tab where you normally select to import files from Power Query, I'm gonna select the option to, to import from text or CSV. Now once I've clicked and navigated to that folder, you'll notice now I've got that PDF file in here. The one thing you may want to do is select the option to, to, to choose all the files. So I'm going to select that and click on import. Now it's going to import the way Power Query normally does, looking for any sort of tables and data that it can, it can recognize. So now it's opened up here. So we've got uh, a few things here. So we've got a table here and that looks exactly like what I was looking at earlier in the PDF, we've got page one and page two separate. Now doing it this way, obviously there's a, there's a bit more work because this is not formatted properly. We've got their disclaimer here, taking up some, some space. And so it's not as neatly formatted. I'd still have to take out these first few rows. So it, it's got this table already in here. So it works, works well. So if I'm happy with it, what I can do is maybe transform the data just to see if there's any other changes that uh, I may want to make to it, such as getting rid of any sort of um, columns. But as you can see, this is basically um, got everything on here. And if I look back on the the file here, the PDF, it goes all the way to row uh, row 36, which is correct. So it's got all the it's got all the holdings. It hasn't splitted it between pages, um, so it's a bit better than using page one and page two separately. So anytime you're importing something uh, using using Power Query, you wanna take a look at all, all the different tables and options you have, because even if you see one, there might be some better options there. So some of these fields, you know, may, may not wanna, wanna have like CUSIP, we've got the shares of market value, um, could keep all those and you know, it's already sorted in order of weight, so there's not really a whole lot of tinkering that I can think of that, that might be necessary here. So we can just hit on close and load. And now this will populate the file in here. So just like that, we've imported easily into, into Excel. And so in the future, what you could do is if you wanted to download um, other uh, more updated uh, PDFs from, from that from that ETF, you could download it into that same folder, into that same file, and if the location is the same, Power Query can run through the same steps again. Now, an important caveat here is that obviously this, this PDF was formatted in a table, so it was nice and easy to go into Power Query and Excel, but that's not always gonna be the case. I just wanted to show you how you could import a PDF into here. So really easy to do, and you can do the same sort of uh, Power Query uh, transformations and adjustments that you would with any other um, with any other import.